and welcome to another French Fry Trades Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building the Sparomex SD70 Ace in the so called Zebra Paint Scheme. So let's get right into the build here. So, as usual, the first step is to take a dark oak stair out for the rear coupler and attach that up. Underneath it, a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then, on the next block down, down on the rails here, on the rail we're going to put a smooth quartz, then red nether brick, smooth quartz, then a red nether brick stair upside down facing outward on either side. Then above it we'll do the opposite. We'll put smooth quartz above the red nether brick and red nether brick above the smooth quartz. Then on either side of the coupler open a dark oak fence gate and on the outside edges put a dark oak button on either side. Come around in front of it and do a three block tall T shape in the middle of polished black stone block here. Then hang a lantern on the second layer on each side. In front of that, a five by three of polished black stone block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're gonna take quartz slabs, three of them coming up this gap here for stairs, three across this top middle, and three coming up this gap for stairs. Then in front of this down on the rails, we'll skip one block forward, get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hitbox, we'll do two rows of five polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, and then another two rows of five polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels on this side. Then we're going to fill the top middle three on the second layer with polished black stone block down the length of this truck. Come out one block past these fence gates, then swing around and put three on bottom. Coming off the bottom one, we're going to do a row of upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stairs coming forward, and that's going to be 18 blocks long in total. Once you have 18 blocks, three polished black stone across this end, and then same thing on this side, a full row of 18 upside down polished black stone stairs on this side to frame in the fuel tank. Once that's done, we'll come up top and we'll continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone block down the length of this fuel tank. We'll stop at the end of the fuel tank for now. In front of it, we'll skip one block forward down on the rails, get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as before, two rows of five, polished deep slate slab on the upper hip box. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And then another two rows of five polished deep slate slab on the upper hip box. Then a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also into the ends of the wheels at this end here. Then continue filling the top middle three on the second layer with polished black stone. Stop above these fence gates and in front of it do a 5 by 3 of polished black stone. Then in front of that in the center a T shape in the middle. Then hang a lantern on either side of the second layer here. Next, on the bottom in front of this, a quartz stair in the center, polished black stone stair on either side, then an upside down quartz stair facing outward on either side of that. Above it, a polished black stone block in the middle, an upside down quartz stair on either side, and an upside down polished black stone stair on the outer edges. Then three quartz slabs up here, three coming up this gap for stairs, three coming up this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. 
delete the ones we use for placement. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate, and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. Now come through on the sides of the truck. Everywhere there's a wheel, put a polished deep slate slab above it. Same thing here. Then do the other side. Slabs above these wheels. And slabs above these wheels. Then come back through underneath it, and everywhere there's a wheel hanging upside down, grindstone in front of it. Same thing here. Then of course, do the other side. Grindstones in front of these wheels. And one more corner to go. Grindstones in front of these wheels here. Then we're gonna come on the engineer side here. And on this engineer side, put a bell right here. Then at this back of the fuel tank, a brewing stand. Then up here, seven sideways anvils. Then we're gonna do a crimson button, a crimson sign, and a skeleton skull. And then sideways anvils to the front of the fuel tank for the other air tank up here. On this other side up here, we're gonna do a full row of polished black stone block. Then align with where that middle is on the other side here. A skeleton skull, a crimson button, a crimson sign. Then we'll come up on this third layer and we're gonna fill the top middle three end to end with polished black stone. Then on this top outside edge, we're gonna go end to end on both sides with smooth quartz slabs. Then we're gonna come up front on top of the front on the third block back. We're gonna put a red concrete on the left hand side, light gray above it. Same thing on the opposite side. Then a door on the left, two dark gray concrete, then a dark gray concrete and a red concrete like this. Then three dark gray concrete on the top middle and a forward facing red nether brick stair on either side. Then we'll swing around behind here, two red concrete on each side and then come across the top with red concrete. Then behind it, on this side, a red shulker box, two red concrete, red shulker box. On this side, red concrete, two blast furnaces, red concrete. Then four red concrete above it on each side here. Then above that, we're gonna put a red concrete in each of the four corners here. and then two smooth quartz on the center of each side. Across here, two black stained glass, red concrete, two black stained glass. Then two black stained glass panes on either side and a red concrete on the back. On the top middle, we're gonna fill it in three wide with red concrete up here. On the outer edges, four red nether brick stairs facing outward on either side of the top here. Then on the side of the window here, put a white stained glass pane and on this side, so there's mirrors. Then on the side of this front, a red banner here, and a red banner here to hide that gray concrete. Then we're gonna come off the top of the cab on back here and do a three by three of red concrete up here. Then three smooth quartz, two rows of three red concrete. Then three smooth quartz again, then two cobble deep slate in the middle, and two iron bars on either side of it then a smoker in the middle behind that. Then we're gonna come up under here and we have to do this arrowhead pattern with the white stripes. So we're gonna take out a smooth quartz and we're gonna put one on each side here and here and then here and here. Then a red concrete at the back, two red concrete here, one red concrete here. On this side, we fill all these gaps with red concrete right to the cab. Then come underneath with smooth quartz again. We're gonna put one on each side of the back here and here, then one here and here. Two red concrete in the gaps between them, and three red concrete up here. On this side, two red concrete here, two here. Then down here on this side, two red concrete in a door, 
then two red concrete over there on that side. Then come under here, a red concrete at the back, then a, another red concrete, then a smooth quartz. Then fill into the front over here with red concrete. And same thing in this gap here. And actually I put that over too far. These two need to be moved over one. So it's like that. Then we'll come back here. We're gonna do a smooth quartz here, or red concrete behind it. Fill this gap with red concrete. Same thing on this side. Fill with red concrete to here, then a smooth quartz, then a red concrete. Then behind this, on each side of the second layer, we're gonna do a smooth quartz with a red concrete under it. Then a red concrete here and here. Behind this, we're gonna do a smooth quartz on the bottom of each side. Then a red concrete here, here, on each side. And actually these top red concretes need to be knocked out so it's a staircase. Then we're gonna come behind it and do two dark gray concrete on either side coming up the stair steps. Just like that. Then behind that, we're gonna switch to light gray and same thing, two wide on each layer. Then up here, a light gray concrete on either side of the smoker. Behind this, we'll switch back to dark gray and two wide on each layer up to here. So it's down one from the top. Then we need to put three dark gray across this. Then behind this, we're gonna keep alternating all the way back, four high here. So we'll switch back to light gray and do two on each layer up till it's four high. Then back to dark gray, same thing, two wide on each layer. Then back to light gray. Then back to dark gray again, two wide on each layer, four high. Then back to light gray again. Then back to dark gray again. And it's tedious, but it'll be worth it. Back to light gray, two wide again on each layer. Then back to dark gray again, two wide on each layer. Then up here, we're gonna fill it in in a pattern like this with a dark gray in each corner. Then on this back middle here, we're gonna do a light gray then another light gray, a dark gray, and a light gray. Then a light gray on the top middle, and on either side this actually needs to be two dark gray coming forward. Then a light gray on either side again, and actually a second light gray on either side in front of it, here and here. Then we're gonna come down on this side, one block forward here, we're gonna knock out a three by three down here. And same thing directly across on the other side, knock out a three by three. Then in here, put three netherite at the front, three across the top, three across this back. Then three netherite on the bottom middle, three anvils. Then we're gonna fill this gap on the side here with a three by three of iron bars. Come over here, do the same thing. So a three by three of iron bars in this gap here. Then on this side, come one block forward from the iron bars and knock out a two by two on bottom. Fill it with deep slate tile walls. Then the other side's slightly different. We have to do the handbrake. So come over here on this side and we're gonna skip one block forward from where the iron bars are on this side, on the bottom, 
Take out the bottom block, put in polished deep slate stair. Close the trap door above it for the brake wheel. Then kitty corner forward one and up one, knock out this one, put in a deep slate tile wall. Then we'll come up top on this top middle. We're gonna do a light gray concrete, cobble deep slate, and two dark gray concrete. Put an oak trap door on the cobble deep slate and surround it with iron trap doors for a fan. Then in front of this section on the top, we're gonna come across five wide with dark gray concrete so it's sticking out on each side. Then we're gonna do a dark gray concrete on the side, two light gray, two dark gray, two light gray, and a dark gray, and then bring that across this side. Then copy the pattern across on this side so it makes a rectangle. Then we'll use light gray and dark gray concrete in here to fill in this middle. Then at the middle of the back of this section, we're gonna put a dark gray concrete, then a light gray on either side, a dark gray in the middle, three dark gray coming across, dark gray in the middle, light gray on either side, dark gray in the middle. Fill these centers with cobbled deep slate, put an oak trap door on top of them. Then on the front and back of each of these oak trap doors, put a polished deep slate slab, and on the sides on each side, an andesite slab. Then fill in these holes around these fans with polished blackstone slabs. Then we're gonna take out deep slate tile stairs, and underneath where it sticks out here, a full row of upside down stairs facing outward. Same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs facing outward here. Then on this middle gap at the back, two rows of three andesite slabs. At the front, two rows of three polished deep slate slabs. Then three andesite slabs at the front, three polished deep slate at the back. A polished deep slate on the back of each side, an andesite on the front of each side. Then an andesite here, polished deep slate here. Then in this gap, open back-to-back -back dark oak fence gates for a horn. Then up here, a C-shape of iron trap doors around this smoker. Come on top of the cab, and in the middle of it, two rows of three iron trap doors, a flower pot in the middle behind it. Then take red carpet and cover this nose with red carpet. Then three red carpet up here, and red carpet all around back here. Right here, three white carpet then two rows of red, then three white, and then up here, we're gonna do two rows of three dark gray carpet. And actually on this side here, I'm not liking how these white stripes look here. So I'm gonna come in and grab smooth quartz. I'm gonna knock out this one, put in smooth quartz, then this one, and this one. Then we're gonna change these three to red concrete. And we'll do the same for this stripe. So change this to smooth quartz right here. Then this one and this one. Then take out these three and put in red concrete. Now it looks a little more accurate. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So come up here, change this one to smooth quartz. Then this one and this one. Then change these three to red concrete. Then do the same thing here. Change this to smooth quartz, this one, and this one. And change these back three to red concrete here. Then we're gonna come up here, a block back from where the door is. Take out this one and this one. Put a red concrete and a smooth quartz in the middle. Then red stained glass, white stained glass. Then we're gonna come in and also grab a red shulker box. And down in this corner here, we're gonna do red concrete, red shulker box, red concrete, smooth quartz, red concrete, red concrete, smooth quartz, red concrete. Then up here, one in, red concrete, smooth quartz, two red concrete, smooth quartz, two red concrete. And now we can get up to the stairs, and on this side we have to do the inverter box. So starting from the cab on bottom of this side, we're gonna do seven deep slate tile walls. 
then two red concrete, smooth quartz, two red concrete, smooth quartz, red concrete. Then up here, seven deep slate tile walls again. Behind that, on the bottom, three red concrete. Above it, two red concrete, and one red concrete like that. Then we're gonna take dark gray concrete and this reverse L shape like this. Behind it, a single polished deep slate wall on bottom here. Then come up front, on this front porch, a T-shape of black carpet. Then black carpet atop the box up here. Come down here, black carpet all the way down this walkway. Right to the back. Then back here in this corner, we'll change this corner block to black wool. Then after that, we're gonna put a single black carpet on the back center here. Then a black carpet in this corner. And then we'll run black carpet all the way up this side. Then one on this stair and then all the way up here, up to the door. Then take out a birch fence. Right here, come up four. Then right here, come up three. Over one, up two. Same thing on this side, come up three right here, over one, up two, right here, come up four. Then two crimson fences here, two here. Then we'll come up and do the same thing at the front. So switch back to a birch fence. Right here, come up four. Right here, up three, over one, up two. Same thing on this side, so up three over one, up two, and up four right here. Then two crimson fences here, two here. Then we're gonna switch to dark oak fence, come down to the back, attach it up right here, and start bringing it forward up this walkway. When we get right here, come up one, over one, up one again, and then over until it connects up with the back of the cab. Then we'll do the other side, still with dark oak fence. Right here, attach it up, and come forward up this walkway. When you get right here, we're gonna put two on the end, then up two on the very end, and then come back over until it attaches to the cab. Now come on the side of the nose, on top put an item frame right here, under it a crimson sign with 4029, hit the sign with white dye and a glow ink sack. Do the same thing on this side, so right here an item frame, then a crimson sign with 4029, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then come up front here on either side of these fences, a glow item frame with glowstone, and a glow item frame with glowstone on the center of the nose. Then we need the number plates above the windows, and for that we need to grab a dark oak sign here. Above the window on each side, put a dark oak sign with 4029. Then we're gonna hit both of those signs with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll come down and detail the rear end. Back here, a dark oak sign on either side of the top with 4029. Same thing on this other side. Then we hit these signs with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna run a ladder up this left hand side. Then on the second block down in the middle, a glow item frame with glowstone. Under it, close two oak trap doors. Then a glow item frame on either side of the fences down here with glowstone in them. Now come into a loom with white banner and green dye, put a horizontal on bottom. Switch to red dye, horizontal on top. Then we'll come place this. This goes on this item frame, and then turn it so it's this way. Same thing, put it here, turn it so it's this way. Then we're gonna come back into our loom, this time with a light gray banner and white dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the left, horizontal on top, 
horizontal in the middle. No banner. We're going to do a vertical on the left, top half white, diagonal. New banner. We're going to do a vertical on the left and right, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner. We're going to do a diagonal, then the other diagonal. Then switch to light gray dye and put a light gray border around all of these banners. And then we'll come place it. We're going to come on the side one block down from the top. Right here, put an F, skip two, put an R, then an O, skip two, then an X. Then we'll do it on this side. On this side, we're gonna start right here, put an F, skip two, do an R, then an O, skip two, and then an X. Then we can come in and clear all this out. And this time we need white dye, gray dye, and a gray banner. And we'll come back into our loom with a gray banner and white dye here. And we'll do the rest of the letters that we need to do. So gray banner, white dye, vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle, new banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, upside down triangle on top. New banner. We're gonna do a vertical on the left here. Then the top half white, then a diagonal. Switch to gray dye and put a gray border around these three. And then we'll come finish off our word here. So we need E-R, and then M-E. Same thing here. We need E-R here, then M-E here. So it says Ferromax in the alternating stripes. Now we'll do the interior. So come on in through this nose door. We'll put an M portal in this corner for a toilet. Then a column of smooth sandstone slabs up to the window here and on this side. On the side, use your slabs to raise it up two blocks tall, then two blocks tall in this back, two blocks tall on this side. In the center, use your slabs to make a staircase coming down. Back here, a blast furnace and a glowstone, then a stair on each side for seats, then a slab on that side, up here a glow item frame with an end crystal, a lever on the right hand side. Come down here and put a door right here. Now the interior is completed. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Ferromax SD70As in the Zebra paint scheme. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there rail fans.